like, haven't seen it. That's what the doc is like. And let me focus in on stacks. Stacks are simply folders in the doc that allow you rapid access to their contents, right? And so these are two stacks right here, and you just go click on them, and boom, they show you their contents, and you can get at them instantly. You can view them as a fan here, or you can also view them as a grid, whichever you like. So this is an instant way to get at the contents of folders. You can put in whatever folders you want. Let me uh, zoom in on that a little bit more. And again, you see what it's like. Just click it and it pops up. You can click any document to run it. Very simple. And let me zoom in even more, because what we're doing is, in addition to any folders you might put there, we're going to put a folder there called Downloads, because one of the biggest reasons our desktops are cluttered <laughs> is because we, we download stuff over the internet through our browsers and through email, and it ends up on our desktop. We're redirecting those things to a simple downloads folder, and we're putting that downloads folder as a stack in the dock. And so when you download something, it looks like this until it downloads, and it puts it right on the front of the stack so you can get it very easily and do whatever you want to do with it. So this is the new desktop for Leopard. You can put it on the side as well as the bottom. It works great. And what I'd love to do is show it to you. So here we are. You can see the menu up here, right? And uh, you can see the dock. I'm going to grab uh, Safari. And just to show you, again, the dock, you can see the reflections of the icons. You can also see the reflections of various things on it. It's kind of nice. And uh, I'm going to, uh, to go and show you what stacks are like. Now, I've got a few stacks over here. I've got one for some demos I'm going to run a little later on. I've got one for movies and vacation through some applications in there and download. So let me just go into movies. And again, here's what stacks look like. And uh, if I want to play a movie, I can just go play a movie. It's that simple. So let me go play another one here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is a fun one. New iPhone commercial. So, say you're watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Hmm. Did somebody say calamari? I assume you've seen that. Uh, and uh, let me go into my vacation stack now. This is a bunch of things that I'm looking at. I've got a bunch of documents together because we're going to go on a vacation and want to plan it out. And uh, you know, let me look at a few things. I can just go in here and just click on something. This is a PDF. It just opens it up. And you know, here I am. Take a look at the top 20 resorts. Uh, let me go back in there. And uh, you know, here's a PDF of a spa that I might want to go see. All right, just go through here. and. Examine that spa. So it's that easy to keep stuff organized. Now, I put, I put my applications folder in here just to kind of show you. You can even use this as an app launcher if you want. I can just zoom in there and launch any app very easily, which is kind of fun. Uh, matter of fact, let me show you this in slow-mo here. This is, you know, again. <laughs> and of course, all these features use core animation, which we'll talk about in a few minutes to make it very, very easy. Um, and uh, so let me show you the download stack. I'm just going to open Safari here. And uh, I'm going to go to a site, uh, Disneyland Paris, because I might want to uh, take my family there on a vacation. And uh, here's a PDF that uh, I'm looking at uh, on my browser for Disneyland Paris, the most fun place in the world, I'm sure. And uh, so I want to download this. That's great. Well, we've added an affordance now in, in Safari, which is just an easy way to download. And you push this thing right here, and it's just going to download it, downloads it into my download stack, and there it is. And so now, when I go to my download stack, boom, there is my PDF of uh, Disneyland Paris. Right? There it is right there. So that is how it works, and this gives you a feeling for the new desktop in Leopard. New menu bar, new dock, stacks, consistent window look, and very easy to tell the active window. So first thing, new desktop. Second of 10 features we're going to examine today, a new finder.
So we've got a new finder in Leopard. It's got a new sidebar. It's really cleaned up, much nicer, much more powerful. With Spotlight, you can search your Mac. Now you can search other Macs and servers with Spotlight right in the finder. You've always been able to share files, but it's never been easy from a user interface point of view. It's now really easy to browse and share files with other computers on a local net, such as all, all the computers at your house, all the computers at your office. And if you are a subscriber to Dot .Mac, we have this really cool feature called Back to My Mac that allows you to share, browse your other computers and share files with them even when they're not on the same local net. You can do it over the internet at vast distances. And we'll show you how that works in just a minute. It's a very cool new feature. And the new finder in Leopard, we've added something called CoverFlow that hundreds of millions of people already know how to use. And it turns out it's amazingly cool. So let me just show you a few things in slides here. This is the new finder. And as you know, we've had some buttons up at the top to pick our view. We've added a fourth button for cover flow. And so we can be looking at our, our icons. An icon view here, you can see we've jazzed up some of the PDF ones and things like that. Uh, you can look at things in list view. You can look at things in our famous column view. And now you can look at the same things in cover flow. All your documents. It turns out to be incredibly useful. So that is the new view cover flow. Now let me focus on the sidebar over here. New sidebar for Leopard. It's much cleaner. You can close things when you're not interested in them. And uh, we've got devices, some shared computers, places, and a way to search for things. And let me focus on the search for just a second. We are populating this with some smart searches, but you can add your own. So you can instantly just click on today and see all the documents you touched today, or yesterday, or this past week, or all your images, wherever they are, or all your documents, wherever they are. It's really easy to find stuff. And again, you can add your own smart folders right there. Now let me go ahead and open Shared. And what we'll see is that we've got some computers around our house, the home iMac, the kid's iMac, a MacBook. And I can, again, browse and share files with these just by clicking on that and going into them as if they were right on my own computer. And if I'm a .Mac subscriber, I can click on that tower in the office and go browse it as well. Now, how does that work? How does this back to my Mac thing actually work? It's, it's really simple, actually, in concept. We've got the internet. We've got .Mac. We've got a computer, let's say an iMac at my house. And let's say I'm traveling and I've got a, a MacBook Pro uh, on the road. And I wanna, I've left a file on my home iMac that I need on the road. What am I going to do? Well, whenever my home iMac gets a new IP address, it always tells .Mac. So .Mac always knows the IP addresses of all my computers. And my mobile computer out on the road, whenever I get to my hotel room, plug it in, it goes and tells its IP address to .Mac. And .Mac gives it the IP addresses of all my other computers. And so my notebook now knows the IP address of my desktop computer. They communicate. It's encrypted. It all works great. So let me show you a few of these things now. So let me first show you CoverFlow. So here's a new finder. As you can see, we've redesigned the folders, made them a little more straightforward, nicer looking, even give you a hint at what's inside them. And um, I'm going to go click on Documents in the sidebar here. And here's all my documents. Again, you can see what they look like. And this is icon view. And there's 